today we are going to show you our digital electronic trainer kit order code is 33509 so this is the trainer kit we can see there are different types of blocks here this one blocks 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 these blocks contain ic these ics are inbuilt and this is the pin configuration given here on the kit so using this ics we can perform different types of experiments this is the breadboard if we want we can use ics here and do the perform uh, do the experiments here also this is logic level indicators to show the output status and this is logic level inputs to give zero or one to the circuit this is a seven segment display this is manual pulsar block we is using this key using this switch we can give pulse frequency to circuit this is dc power supply 5 volt at 500 milliampere this is potentiometer of 100k this is flick uh, sorry this is this block is clock generator block this produce fixed square wave of fixed frequency of 1 hertz and frequency of 0.1 hertz in this block the frequency is fixed and this is also produce square wave but here we can adjust the frequency from 1 hertz to 10 hertz this block is for uh, zif pin socket that is zero insertion force socket with the help of this socket we can we can put ic here and also we can check the ics or perform any kind of experiment like this so with the help of this lever we can put a ic here like this put the ic is here and then we can test the ics or we can perform any kind of experiment so this is a 40 pin zif socket this block is continuity tester to test the continuity of a circuit we can with a simple ex example we can see this a uh, very simple circuit of nand gate so this is my nand gate ic here so i am giving input 1 here and input 2 here and input 3 is the output so to test this circuit we don't need to connect the power supply with this circuit but we need to connect this power supply pin here and the ground pin here turn the main switch on and we can check the continuity of this circuit like this so our next experiment is binary to gray converter this is the circuit diagram that we need to build so first for this we will use ic7486 this this here this is the ic7486 in built or we can use a ic7486 and we can do the experiment here in the breadboard so i am using this in built ic so first pin number 1 will go to b3 input so i'm giving it here now pin number 2 will be connected with b2 that is input now pin number 4 will be connected with pin number 2 and pin number 3 is the output so this is the output here i am giving this is the output g2 now pin number 5 will be connected with b1 input b1 sorry this is input b1 
and pin number 9 will be connected with pin number 5 here. Pin number 6 is the output that is D1, this is D1. Now pin number 10 is connected with the input B0, so I am giving it here B0. Pin number 8 will be connected with the output G0 and the output G3 will be connected with B3 that is pin number 1 here. So, this is the circuit diagram of binary to gray converter. Now, we will check the truth table. So, now we will verify the truth table of binary to gray converter. So, first I am turning on the kit and the output is the input is all 0, 0, 0, 0 and the output is also 0. Now, I am giving B01. So, this is 0, 0, 0, 001 and the output is also 0, 0, 0, 001. Now, I am giving 0, 0, 1, 0 and the output is 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, I am giving 0, 0, 1, 1 and the output is 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, I am giving 0, 1, 0, 0 and the output is 0, 0, 1, 1. So, like this you can check the rest of the truth table given here. Our next experiment is 224D multiplexer decoder. This is the circuit diagram that we are going to build and this is the truth table that we will verify. So, for this we will need two ICs. This is 7408 and 7404. So, this is 7404 and this is 7408. These ICs are inbuilt. You can also use IC here in the breadboard. So, first connect the pin number 1. with pin number 12 of 7404 and the pin number 1 of 7404 will be input that is A. So, I am giving the input here. Now, pin number 2 of 7408 will be connected with pin number 4 of 7404 and pin number 3 of this IC 7404 will be our second input that is input B. So, I am giving this here. Now, 3 will be pin number 3 of 7408 is our output that is A dash B dash. So, I am giving this here. Now, pin number 4 of 7408 will be connected with pin number 2 of 7404. So, connect this here and pin number 5 will be connected with pin number 3 of 7404. So, this is 7 for pin number 3. So, connect this here. Now, pin number 6 is our second output that is A dash B. So, this is our second output A dash B. Now, pin number 9 will be connected with pin number 4 of 7404 here and pin number 10 will be connected with pin number 1 of 7404. 
now pin number 12 will be connect with pin number 1 of 7404 and pin number 13 will be connected with pin number 3 of 7404. So, this is pin number 3. Pin number 11 will be our fourth output that is A B and pin number 8 will be our third output that is A B dash. Now, give this the power supply connection that is plus 5 volt to pin number 14 for both the ICs. and ground connection to pin number 7 for both the ICs. Now, we will observe the truth table. So, my both inputs are 0, 0 and the output is 1 0 0 0. Now, I am giving 0 1 and the output is 0 1 0 0. Now, I am giving 1 0, my output is 0 0 1 0 and I am giving both the input 1, output is 0 0 0 1. So, this is the truth table of 2 to 4 demultiplexer. Our next experiment is shift register, for this we will use this IC. We will do parallel input, parallel output operation. For this, we need to build this connection. So, first connect to with input A, this is I am giving selecting is this is as input A, connect B. That is pin number 3 here, this is written here A, B, C, D. So, this is input B. This is input C, pin number 4. And this is input D, pin number 5. Now, pin number 6 is continuous mode. So, for this operation, we need to keep it in high level. So, I am giving this from here, putting this in logic on, selecting this switch as 1 or you can directly give it to the power supply plus 5 volt. Now, we need to connect the output. So, these are the output pin number 13, 12, 11, 10. QA, QB, QC, QD. So, this is I am connecting the output. Now, we need to give clock pulses to pin number 8. And give power supply to pin number 14. And ground connection to pin number 7. Now, this is the connection. Now, we will turn on the cat and now all my inputs are in zero state. So, as I am pressing this clock switch, there is no output. Now, I am giving input D1 
press the switch I can see the output is 0 0 1. Now, I am giving 0 0 1 0 press the clock pass and this is 0 0 1 0. Now, I am giving 0 0 1 1 you can see I am giving 0 0 1 0 you can see. So, this is parallel input and this is parallel output operation. This you can check rest of the truth table that is given here. Our next experiment is 3 bit up counter. So, this is the circuit diagram for the 3 bit up counter and this is the truth table for the up counter which we are going to verify. So, first for this we will use this 2 IC 7476 this 2 IC. So, first short circuit pin number 4 and pin number 16. After that pin number 9 and pin number 12 and pin number 4 and pin number 16 like this. Now, connect this give them plus 5 volt power supply. Now, short circuit PR1 and PR2 also from this PR2 to this PR1. And we need to give them again plus 5 volt power supply. Now, we will need to give clock pulses that is from manual pulsar to input 1 of the first IC 7476. Now, connect pin number 3, this pin number 3 is of the 2 ICs, short circuit this, also connect this pin number 8 with pin number 3. like this. Now, connect pin number 15 to pin number 6. And from pin number 6, there will be an output that is Q0. Now, connect pin number 11 to pin number 1 of the second IC. And this is our output. 
q1 and connect pin number 15 of the second ic to the third in input output that is q2 Now, we need to give power supply plus 5 volt power supply to pin number 5 of both the ICs. need to ground pin number 13 of both the ICs Now turn on the kit and apply the manual pulse and see the truth table. The counter will count from 0 to 7 like this.